We now have an election, and surely our MPP can come along to help us. They took out almost two, almost 300 people um, from the actual workforce, but in fact the work didn't disappear with those people. So as each one of us go to work and struggle with picking up the extra workload from the missing staff, we continue to hear of of increased programs that are coming our way, yet no mention whatsoever of additional staff to go with that. So our work is being outsourced, which is, of course, a serious problem. Our girls are being denied holidays. Yeah. We're getting extra workload. The hip improvement hasn't really improved anything at all. We lost a lot of senior nurses, a lot of experience. Our, our biggest concern right now is workload and safety of patients. People are denied vacation now. People are denied vacation going on into the new year. James. Tired of hearing the wonderful staycations, vacations that Ken Tremblay gets to enjoy as he travels around the country and around the world and rides elephants. He doesn't even understand the impact that's having on staff morale. In the food service department alone, uh, we were eliminated 11.2 full-time equivalents, and that basically were the people who were in charge of preparing the food, dishing up the food, serving the food. So to replace them, we've been replaced with ready-to-use food. These all come in disposable dishes. They are also encased in plastic that our residents and our patients can't even open. They literally either, if they have teeth, have to chew the tops off these dishes or they stab them with their utensils. Waste production has tripled. We used to produce, we used to produce in one dish room, which is one meal service, an equivalent of five bags of garbage. That is now doubled, tripled up to 15 to 20 bags per service. So we're tripling the amount of waste that we produce, which goes to our troubled landfill here in Peterborough. Not enough staff to cover areas certain areas like emergency in the past couple of weeks has slowed down units because they don't have enough staff to staff it. Wait times are getting longer. Morale is, in my 25 years of nursing, is the, the worst I've ever seen this place. A complete overhaul of how housekeeping is, is performed. They lost an equivalent of nine people. The hospital didn't shrink by any means in the past year. Those are expansive hallways that we have to clean and rooms and areas of the hospital so with nine less full-time people, our current housekeeping staff are stretched to the max to, to adequately clean the, the hospital at the standards that are required to keep hospital-inquired infections in check. We have four of our stationary engineers who have been requested to work mandatory overtime. That's because they can't, they can't fill the positions, the vacancies. In other areas, particularly where there are liberal MVPs, they found money in the millions of dollars for their hospitals. We expect Jeff Leal to be here during an election campaign to do something about it. Where are you, Jeff? Jeff Leal, you need to step up and start taking care of our staff, start doing something for us. Thank you. We, we need help, we want it right now. Yeah. Ontario Health Coalition is holding a rally at Queen's Park next Tuesday, the 13th. Hey, oh, oh,